Okay, everybody. Update on my uh, orientation with land there. So, they waited to the last day to tell me I wasn't hired. After filling out the paperwork, doing all the works, the ins and outs, the, the road tests and all that stuff. They wait till the last day to tell you not hired. Jim in the building. What's going on with you, my G? What's going on, man? I'm all right, man. I'm blessed, man. Taking it day by day. Yeah, I see, man. I I, I see you. Uh, I, I see you doing the damn thing and 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 running into some problems with that. Uh, but before we get into all of that, man, uh, introduce yourself and uh, let everybody know, you know, where you came from or where you hail at. Uh, well, my name is Jimmy Jones. Um, I'm originally from New Jersey. Mm -hmm. uh, moved, I, I, I moved to North Carolina about 2012, 2014. I ran into a little bit of trouble out there in North, North Carolina and uh, ended up catching some charges and, you know what I mean, and ended up in uh, the mix of the prison system. Okay, okay. So, and, uh, so, but wait, 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 before you got into trouble, bro, what... Uh, why why did you move from uh Jersey down down south? Um, I moved from Jersey down south, man, cause my mom and my sister, all my siblings, had moved down there, oh, okay. and, it, and and I was I was in the mix, of, I was still in the mix of trouble in Jersey, man. It was, <laughs> you know, Jersey. If you're not if you're not um if you're not making a decent a decent amount of money, man. It's hard living up there. You know what I mean. The minimum wage—you can't live off a of minimum wage up there. You got to be making twenty, twenty-five dollars an hour or better to even just to get by in Jersey. Damn. So the south, south is a little bit, south is a little bit easier. So, you know what I mean. The south is a little bit easier. But right now, so, so, I reside in Memphis with my wife. I'm in Memphis, Tennessee, right now, though. So, so up in Jersey, man, it, it was that. It, it was the cost of living was that bad up there. Yeah, the cost of living is, is kind of rough. I'm talking about a uh, one bedroom, bare minimum for one bedroom uh, might be thirteen, fourteen hundred dollars. Wow, is you know, that an apartment it's, it's, building? Yeah, that's an apartment building. Damn, yes. I can imagine what the hell, what, <laughs> what a single family house would be going for. Yeah, man. house houses are are, are are anywhere from two grand and up. Oh, oh, oh no! So it's rough, especially if you want to, especially you want to, you want to be in a decent area. You know what I mean? So damn it, man! So hold, on. so yeah, man. What, so what was the opportunities up there, man? I mean, I mean, for people, I mean, for the cost of living to be like that was. What's the opportunity? Yeah, a lot of in, people, in a lot of people in Jersey, a lot of people in Jersey commute to New York because you're right there. So you might jump on a train or something and commute to New York, have a decent job. Um, it's it's not many opportunities, you know, warehouse work and stuff like that. So it's it's not really many opportunities. You know what I mean? It's it's not much out there for us. It's you know, Jersey. We we're a small state, man. Right, right, right. So I'm I'm gonna. I'm going to assume no Amazon and no Walmart up there for you guys. No, nah, no, nah, we got we got Walmart up there, Amazon. I'm not too sure. I don't think we got Amazon. And maybe you don't know they may be bringing it up there, but no, nah, I, I, I'm pretty sure we don't have that. We got other you know warehouses and stuff like that, but other than that, not nothing too big, you know. All right, so I heard, you know, I heard in the midst of you was uh, saying all of that 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 you that you're married, but you you said you ran into some problems when you got down south. So was you still married when you ran into the problems, or was that before you got married? No, no, that was before I got married. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So yeah, I was still running wild, man, running running into the streets, man, running wild, man, trying to find my way. Right, right. That's what's up. I, I guess that's. I guess that's what all all of us had to do at one point or another, man. But yeah. at least you, yes, you know, sir. at least you got yourself clean. So what what was uh what was some of the what was some of the charges that you that that you unfortunately caught, and how long did you have to do the bid for? Well, two thousand well two thousand nine, I got to a some a small a uh, drug possession charge in, in New Jersey. I got probation. I got off about a year early due to, you know, good behavior and, and cooperating with the probation. Right. But my more serious charge was in 2014. I had a drug trafficking, uh, trafficking and heroin charge in um, oh. 2014. And that was kind of rough, man, because North, uh, uh, North Carolina has a rough justice system. I mean, 
being considered that that was considered my really my first charge, mm-hmm. it, and it didn't matter. It was a mandatory minimum sentence. What? Um, I was held on I was held on a million dollar bond what? out there. Yeah, man, it, it, it's rough, and and I had people in there with me with murder charges, man, with a hundred, two hundred thousand dollar bond, and I'm like, and I got here, caught and, with some drugs. And here you are, just caught with some drugs, but you in there yeah. with the heavy hitters. Yeah, and so they offering me. In my time, they was offering me anything from 10 years and up. So I'm Damn, like, man, what in the world? Like, charge? Yeah. And my first drug charge at that. So what happened was I sat for a while. My bond dropped. You know, I bonded out. And um, right. I sat for uh, And I came home for about eight months until I got sentenced. When I got sentenced, I got sentenced to 93 months in prison. Uh, and you can work it down to 70. So you got to do a bare minimum. I worked it down to 70 months. Um, due to due to COVID, I had got released about six months early, so I ended up doing like 64, 60, 63 months or something like that. Wow, my G. So they, yeah, they, man. They, I, so so getting so so for you for you little young bucks out there that's that's still in the game. Yeah, man. Y'all, y'all, y'all might it, not it, want it, to fuck with North Carolina. Nah, North don't Carolina. mess with North Carolina at all, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lose lose situation, North Carolina, man. Man, Jesus, <laughs> it's, it's they, lose, lose. and they, I got they, I got caught with a, a a a decent amount of drugs, but for what it was worth, it, it, it wasn't worth none of it. You know what I mean? Right. But it, at the at the end of the day, I I, I did what I did, and, and I believe it kind of changed that time. My time in there changed me and changed my thought. You know my thought process. Well, let me you know ask, what I mean? Cause it's, 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 let me let me yeah. ask you this, Jim man. Your 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 time uh, your time being incarcerated. What uh what, what what is some? Now let me ask you this. I you know I I only been as as far as jail that I was that I went to was on the local. Yeah. You know I you know I it never been beyond that. You know I like you know ch- um uh shoplifting. Shit like that, you know, being put in the you yeah, know, yeah. detention part of the jail or whatever. But I haven't been, you know, I haven't been incarcerated. Now, my cousin, on the other hand, you know, he, you know, he called a drug charge and he did, you know, he did some time. But your time being incarcerated down south, man, what what was the, what what was the days like, man? I mean, is it like is it like how they portray it on uh, what's that what's that show? Sixty Days In. Is it is it portrayed like that, man? Is portray is is prison uh, is prison somewhat, now it, it, portrayed like that? It's somewhat. It is. It isn't. It, it, you you got different environments. It's about how you carry yourself and and what you what you know what where you, where you putting yourself at, at as a person, your personality, how you carry yourself. Because if you want to go in there and act up, now they got some wild some some wild ones in there. They're gonna send you there with them. Mm-hmm. But if you go in there and you want to, you know, you keep your head on straight, it's not you know it's it's not it's not gonna be that rough on you. Regardless or not, you're taken away from your family, so it's gonna be rough, you know. Regardless, but it's on how you make it. You know what I mean. And you can make it worse on yourself. You know what I mean. But now, now what about North Carolina somebody- prison? What, what about yeah. what about some of these prison movies that we seen back in the day? You know how motherfuckers try to get up in you and all like that. Was not okay. Yeah, was that if, if you on? if you a weak if you if you a weak vessel, it's possible it can happen. Oh, shit. It's rare that it's it's, it's rare that it, it, it happens like that. But they do have prisons that are rough like that. You know what I mean? They do have prisons that are rough like that. But it's not really going down like it is in the movies, man. Not 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 for nothing. Mm-hmm. A lot of these guys, it, it, you don't even have a ticket from them. They they giving it up. You know what I mean? <laughs> they were like a lot of these guys are before, like that before they got in prison. Oh, okay. just on the yeah, low. We, you yeah, know what we, I mean? We, we can't but have other none than that. Of that. It, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's that's how I am. Man. I, I I don't want to partake in none of that, man. Right. But other than that, you got your you got your rough prisons out there. Like I said, it's how they classify you. You know, if you're a violent, you know, you're a violent. Wow, young boy, that's what they're gonna put you at. They're gonna put you in there. You're gonna be in the cell by yourself all day. That's that. But if you, you know, I kept, I kept my head on straight, man, because I was trying to get out there in the, in the, the quickest time I can. You know right. what I mean? Get back to the family and stuff like that. So yeah, I kept I, my head on straight. And um, after my first two and a half years, I got sent to a, 
a, a, a minimum camp where I was able to leave out, go to church, and um, oh, okay. find a job and stuff like that. So okay. it, it made it easier. You go in there with, with your head on so, straight, man. So, so, keeping, so going in there with, uh, you know, going in there, keeping your head on a swivel, ain't going. you're not going to end up like old boy from that Master P movie talking about, yo, I got these books <laughs> right here. You go in and check it out. Oh, yeah. I ain't reading yeah. nothing that you got. I'm not taking my eye off of you, bro. <laughs> Fuck that shit. Yeah. I'm not putting uh -uh, my, uh -uh, my, I'm, as a matter of fact, when I go to bed, I'm sleeping on my fucking back. And one eye yeah. open, nigga. You come over there with that bullshit. <laughs> Fuck that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man. So, yeah, man. As long as you keep your head on a swivel, man, and you 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 stay out the way. You know what I mean? Mind the business. All right. So you uh, so you was able to you was able to complete everything, and and, and you got out. Uh, where was it? Where where was it? Where uh, trucking came into play, or what, what, when did so I got the trucking well, got in? While I, while I was incarcerated, um, I already talked to a few guys in there that they, they you know, they dealt with the trucking and stuff. I always wanted to tr go trucking. I actually ended up signing up for a school in North Carolina, but I just ended up being, I was too busy stuck in the streets and ended up not going. Right, right. But while I was in there, uh, uh, to throw this in there, while I was in there, that's when I married my wife while I was in there. But we knew each other for, shoot, since we were, were kids, you know what I mean? But okay. she, she kind of helped me. She, she helped me together. I got in there. I came home. <clears throat> I came home. I came home. My wife family's in Memphis, Tennessee. Right, right. So I moved to Memphis, Tennessee, with my wife and stuff. And um, that's I, you know I worked a few warehouse jobs. And, and, and my goal was to always to do the trucking. I always wanted to do the trucking. I had a few homeboys that I was incarcerated with. They like, look, man, come out, get your CDLs. Once you get your CDLs. You're not gonna have no problem getting a job, especially as a felon. Oh. Like you're not gonna have a problem, you know. <laughs> so you, I'm like, oh, like you and, like you yeah, like all I mean, right, and all like that, listening to all yeah. of that, and then up all of a sudden you you're encountering yeah, all these problems. Yeah, I ran problems. into a little a little problem, but see, it, it's they they already knew some people with trucks and stuff like that, so it was a little bit easier for them. But they're actually doing good, you know. They both. They both are actually seeing over a hundred grand a year, man. They just got out within the last two or three years, so they okay. they're doing good. <clears throat> so that I, I went to at, at first, I went to a school called One Sixty Driving Academy in Memphis, Tennessee. Okay, I'm familiar. Overall, with One Sixty I, I, One Sixty is probably a decent school, but Memphis, Tennessee, one was kind of messed up, man. Unorganized. Um, and the training, the test dates that were going through the DMV, the DMV was backed up. So we, we, I went in April. I did my three or four weeks of school in April. You know what I mean? I was still kind of rough because of the teaching. I mean, they had some decent teachers there, but I was still kind of rough. Mm -hmm. So long story short, I went to three, four weeks in April. And um, my test date wasn't until June, the end of June at that. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, man. And then and then when you go back, they want to charge you an extra $25, $30 an hour each hour you're there to warm up. Wait, 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 wait. The school charge you additional yeah. money to, you know, just yeah, get some they practice? To, they knew. Yes, they wanted to. They, yeah, they, they wanted to charge an extra twenty five dollars an hour. What? They give they give you one one or two days of practice when you come back before your test. Okay. But anything more than that? Anything past your one sixty or any of that? They want twenty five dollars an hour. They want to tack it on. You know e what I mean? They, they even, even do though. It. Even though that they that that the school knew that it was it was a delay in order, I mean it was a delay yeah. in you guys getting your yeah. license. Yeah, they had some people come in for two. They were like, "Well, what we're gonna do is you're gonna have you do your first two weeks, and a week before you'll do your third week, a week before your um, testing." So they were kind of unorganized and, and they were, it was kind of messed up, man. Oh, wow, that's bullshit. So I go June twenty first, June twenty first, and um. I failed on June 21st. You know, I took, okay. I, I, I passed the pre-trip. Right. And, we, and, and uh, out here, we have to do straight back, offset to the right, and a 90 dock. So I did the straight back and the offset, and I pointed out on my 90. Okay. So, so they wanted, so yeah. when the school you went, to, or down there, when you test down there, they, they, they wanted you to do all three. See, when I tested out, it was either it was either parallel parking or alley dock. And unfortunately, brother man drew the short stick on the alley dock. But I still knocked <laughs> it out though. I, you know, I knocked it out on uh, I knocked it all out on my first go around. Where I failed at was the actual, 
driving test because we had the the first yeah. the first uh the first corner the first light it's a channel turn it's it, it's it's a channel turn and i and that what i had to do was keep i had to keep the uh, tr uh the tandems from riding up on the curve and i'm unfortunately okay yeah yeah I'm, yeah unfortunately i you know yeah so we got yeah. down, we, we got down to the school and she told me to make that big ass u-turn in the school and shit and came back but she was like yo don't worry about it you got the she said you got the hard yeah, part out time. the way yeah you know See, she, the 160 the 160 in memphis they actually when i went when i had went to eventually i went to land for orientation a few of the guys there mm -hmm. were, went to 160 and they do their own testing but the one in memphis go through the dmv and here you have to go to the dmv Oh, you had, to test, oh you had to test out at yeah. the DMV. Oh, shit. Lucky. Yeah, I was testing out at the DMV. Luckily so for what me, happened, I didn't test yeah, out at you. the DMV. <laughs> okay. Yeah. See, what happened was after I failed, she was like, man, you come back, you, you, you'll, you'll be ready that time. I'm like, all right. Right. So the school, they didn't call me for like two or three weeks later. Like, all right, we got to a test date. Right. And this test date was like the end of August, September. Fuck. So I'm like, nah, I, you know, I, nah, I don't want to go. Through. I'm trying to get my now and get on the road. This is, this is, it's, you know, this is too much. Right. You know what I mean? So, uh, um, but before that, let me uh, jump back a little bit. For me to get accepted at the school, mm -hmm. I had to get accepted by a company that was willing to sponsor me, which was Landair. Okay. Well, okay. I mean, so that's what Lander came in at. But anyway, you jump back where I was at. <clears throat> so I heard about a grant in Memphis where they pay for the majority of your schooling, which right. I think a uh, role master was like seven grand. So this grant paid for like five grand out of it. So I'm like, all right, I can go to role master because role master, they do their own testing. Right. And you get, uh, you get to try four, you know, you get to test four times. And if you fail, you can come back the next day and test. Right. So long story short, in August, I went to role master in August. Mm -hmm. I went to Role Master. I did my three, three or four weeks at Role Master. Man, good training. Even you know, I'm I'm, I'm getting tested on automatics. You know, most of the industry is automatics right now. Anyway, right. But so now you, talking it, about, you know, good. Now, now you talking about Role Master? Where where you talking about? You 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 still in Memphis with Role Master, or you had to go somewhere else to go to Role? No, I, I went to Memphis. It, well, their Role Master is in Millington, Tennessee, which is isn't but okay. it, it's about thirty minutes from where I live. About thirty minutes. So I drove back and forth every day, mm -hmm. but the road master school was, it was great. You know, they teach you, they teach you with you, they're working with you and they make sure you got it before you move on. You know what I mean? They make sure you got your, you, you got your pre-trip uh, down pat before you move on They make sure you got your, uh, you know, they don't set you up for failure. Right. So I went, I went to road master. I did my time at road master and, um, I passed. Well, see the first time, the first, my first day I tested, I actually fell on the on the driving the driving portion too. Right. But that was my fault because I kind of got it in my head. I was on my home stretch. I knew I was back going back to the school, and I had I was on a highway and I dropped. I wasn't paying attention to my speed limit, and I dropped like ten miles under the speed limit. Oh, okay. So yeah. so you know that was that was a stupid mistake on my fault. It wasn't no traffic around, so I was cruising. But my tester was talking to me as well, so we were just cruising and chilling. And they were like, oh oh, you, you know you're driving too slow. But well, the next day. I went back and tested. I passed. Hold up, man! It's so wait, you you and the <laughs> you you and the you and the operator, the tester, y'all chilling, y'all talking, y'all cruising and shit, and he still yeah. didn't let you go, even though that you just dropped on a, a drop. Yeah, he didn't let what he, I, he said because he gave me a warning. He gave me a warning before about my speed. He's like, man, make sure you keep up the speed. But oh. me, I got in my head, you know, I got into my head, and, and I was oh, okay. talking and chatting a little bit. So right. I do take a little fall for that, you know what I mean? But it was no problem. I went back the next day. I passed. You know, I got my certificate and, and everything. All right. So with, that's, so with, with Roadmaster, man, it was was Roadmaster – now, let me ask you this. Was Roadmaster – you you said you got a grant for Roadmaster. So the rest of it was out of pocket or, or – uh, I'm I financed. I financed the rest. You financed of it. it. Okay. Now what about yeah. now? What about getting into now? What about getting into school? Did you you didn't have no problems getting into school uh, to get your license as far as being a felon, right? No. See, getting into school, um, 
No, I didn't have a problem. Only thing, because I tried to go to Roadmaster before I went to 160. Mm -hmm. I had a problem then because but the only thing problem was then is I was still on papers. I was still on parole. Right. So right. they had they had a Roadmaster want you to either get a job offer from one of their companies or something. Which is Warner. Before they, before they accept you from finance. See, Warner's not going to take nobody with no drug charges right. or possession charges. So May Trucking... They would take you while you're on papers, but you have to get a letter from your parole officer saying that you're on unsupervised and you can travel. My yeah, parole officer didn't want to yeah, do that. Yeah, that's what yeah. They, they need. They they need. They'll give you the opportunity. Yeah, they'll give you the opportunity if you can, you know, drive uh, state to state. But if not, if you're limited, then yeah, that's that's understandable. Yeah, you know, especially so, if uh, if yeah. you're trying to get you know get them to rock out the the the, the finances. Yeah, so so they had turned me down then because you know Mate Trucker didn't want to take it. So I was like, all right, that's why I went to one sixty. But when I came back, it was crazy. Is I ended up getting off of papers like two weeks after that, and I I never knew. My parole officer didn't tell me like I never knew. You know what I mean? So but how long anyway, you how long you was on how long you was on paper before uh be, before all said and done? Uh, I can I just came home actually in December. Mm -hmm. I got off a of paper in April. In April, okay. I got, yeah, I got off on paper. So about four or five months, you know, due to uh, you know, listening to them paying your fines off and stuff like that. Right. You know, right. just it, it, it keeping my head right. All right, that's what's so up. So I went. Congratulations, I went, congratulations. I appreciate it, man. Definitely appreciate it. So when I went when I went back to Roadmaster, um, they said I wasn't on paper. They accepted all that. Plus, I had a grant. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Plus, I had my credit was kind of messed up. So I tried to do it without the grant. My credit was messed up. They wanted like $1,000 cash at the time. And um, uh, the, at the moment, I couldn't afford it. it. Right. Yeah, I couldn't afford it. But somebody told me about the grant. So that was a blessing. They ended up putting uh, close to 5000 on it. Okay, that's what's so up, I went, Yeah, I went through all that, man. And um, I just owed them a couple of, uh, a couple grand. And, uh, so I ended up going, still going to land here afterwards, though. This now, is where the problem came in at. Now, let me ask you this. Now, I, I caught up with you, you know, on your TikTok as far as you, you know, doing your, your journey, you know, your, your chronicle yeah. through TikTok. Uh, before yes, we get before we get into before we get into your you know into what I saw on TikTok, what made you what what made you decide to use TikTok as a platform as as far as I mean other than you know other than YouTube or Instagram or something like that? I don't you know at, at the moment TikTok is a TikTok is a thing at the moment. Uh, yes, you know sir. what I mean? It's, exactly. It's, it my, my kids are my kids are on it. You know. It's it, it's the thing at the moment, and, and I like the way you know um, the, the the algorithm the algorithm of it, how they got things going. Because if you put in certain hashtags on, these are the certain people that are going to see it. Right. So I know if I put my certain hashtags on, I know a, a bunch of truckers are going to see it. You know what I mean? Exactly. It, it, exactly. You know, That's yeah, how so I came across. It's, it's a yeah. It, so it's a, it's a network thing. So I, I know I. I, I put a post up when I was in 160 about me taking a class, uh, uh, driving and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I put a couple of trucker hashtags. And before I know it, this this, this video got like 3,000 views. I'm like, oh, wow. Okay. And I got a bunch of people that drive trucks. Um, you know, you know, friend requested me. And then I seen a TikTok that said, well, man, it's over, it's over 100,000 truckers on TikTok or under yeah, something like is. that. And it if is. we all become friends, it's a good network. So I'm like, yo, that makes sense. Okay. So I went from like, I think I went from like seventy um, followers to like twelve, thirteen hundred followers in, in a matter of three days. That's what's up, man. <laughs> so, That's what's up. You know, See, kinda, that... it kind of popped up, and my daughters are looking at like, like, Dad, I've been on TikTok for two years. How you got many more followers than me? Right. They're mad about that. My son, <laughs> my son was the one that kind of hit, kind of hit me to TikTok because you know, like yeah. I said, I, 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 I tell the story because. <laughs> My 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 thing on TikTok was just too many kids on there, too many trend uh, trend dances and and females just looking into the camera just to just just to look good and shit. But uh, yeah. but when I came, when my son started showing me truckers TikToks, I was like, whoa, wait a minute, hold up. So I, yeah. I posted yeah. I posted a couple of videos, 
And the same, you know, the same, you know, I, I would do the, the long form video on YouTube and then I would take, you know, the three minute clip of that and put it on yeah. TikTok. And I'm going like, whoa, wait, this, 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 how many views I'm getting? I go back to yeah. my, I go back to my YouTube. I'm looking like this shit like, what the fuck, YouTube? <laughs> yeah, shit. man. TikTok is a, it's a, it's a good platform, man. Because, you know, YouTube, you got to, you know, most likely yeah, you people got to out of Google. Yeah, people you, gotta either put the name in, or you know what I mean. You gotta do a little with, bit of work. So and, TikTok kind of throws you out there. Right, you know what I mean? Especially they'll put you on somebody's for you page. Yeah. yeah. So once once somebody sees something, they're like, "Oh man, this is a trucker." Or it might share it and anything. Right. That's yeah, what's man. up. And like I, I mean, said, I came, that's up, how I came, I came across up, you. I came across you on YouTube. My, I mean, I mentioned this. I came across you on YouTube maybe two or three months ago. I think you did a. Uh, a podcast on land air. I think you did it mm -hmm. twice. I think you did one you to actually talk to the recruiter who was my recruiter, yeah. Melody. Yeah, and then I did yeah. one. And then I did you one did with one the actual with driver. That yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So that that's how I came across you. I'm like, yeah, man, that's that's you know that your your podcast is great, man. You know, it it help out a lot of people out, man, as far as making choices before they get into the you know into that certain company and stuff. I appreciate that. So man. yeah, that TikTok TikTok is good though, man. TikTok is good because it just puts your stuff out there, and, and it, it doesn't help me out. I don't got a I got a, got a lot of help and, and information from you know truckers and stuff like that. So that's it's a, it was a good platform. All right, so let's get into the let's get into the journey part, man. So unfortunately, you this and this is all with Land Air, right? This this yes. Well, let me let me jump back before Land Air. Why, mm -hmm. why before Land Air, I was considering Snyder, right? You know, I don't have the recruiter. I I don't talk to him. Snyder had me see Snyder. Their, their main terminal, that well West Memphis terminal, is about twenty minutes from me. So I talked to the recruiter. She's saying I. I I'm not lying to none of them about nothing. I'm telling them my background right. check so because I, I know how it is. So I'm like, well, I got my background, you know what I mean? It's blah, 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 and uh, this is what I got. And the lady's like, well, this, this shouldn't be no problem. You know, they, I guess they run a soft background check. So the lady's like, well, this is not no problem, blah, 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 blah and um, we'll get you set up for orientation. So uh, uh, Schneider, the day before orientation, they're like, uh, well, unfortunately, you know, you got the drug trafficking charge. We, we can't, we can't, you know, we can't go forward with it. You know, let me, let well, me, so hold, let, like, me let me hold you up right there right quick, man. For, yeah. You know, and this, this is what, this is what irritates me with, with a lot of these, these mega carrier trucking companies, man. They, they so quick to, to, to holler about how many, you know, the driver shortage and we need drivers, yeah. and this, that, and the third. And right. here, and here you are, you know, getting yourself, getting yourself cleaned and everything, and you, and, yes, and it's not like you're hiding anything, and you, you telling yeah, them exactly. right off the rip, like, yo, this is what's up, but only, but only get jaded by the company, but uh, misunderstood by the recruiter, because I think the recruiter yes. should just be like straight, like straightforward because some of the recruiters yeah, yeah. some of the Man. recruiters they 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 do that oh it's it's no problem we can we can get you in exactly. they do that they do that because they they are on commission but then when you get yeah. there when you get there or they'll call you back and you know it's like bro you just wasted my fucking time yeah, that, that that's what I'm saying, man. I wasn't too mad about it with Snyder because I never left the house before they told me. Right. You know what I mean? I never left the house before they told me. It's me, I learned how to humble myself because I know I I know I'm a convicted felon, but I don't I don't don't shoot me no bull job that's to get me out there. Exactly. So this is what happened. So Snyder, so I was like, well, Snyder won't accept me because I liked it how Snyder their setup was. You know what I mean? They their training. I guess they known for good training. Yeah, they anyway, are. They have a boot bunch camp. of different divisions, yeah, yeah, boot yeah, boot camp, camp. and they yeah. have a bunch of different divisions there. So exactly. I was kind of excited to try to work for them, but <gasps> so they got turned. So when I got turned down for them, I'm like, all right, somebody just roll with land there. They already told me they accept me. Plus, they're gonna, I guess, I'm under con, so called under contract because they paid for my schooling. Right. Okay. So I call. So I call them and I call the recruiter. I talk to Melody. She's like, well, everything's good, you know. I got you approved before. I had to rerun your reports. I ran right. your reports. Right. Everything popped up. Right. I sent it to them. 
you're good to go. Okay. So she's like, you're good to go. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to book you a rental car. Right. I'm like, wow. Bro. I mean, that's, that's great. Get a car, save your receipts. I get it. You got a room waiting for you out there. Okay. You know, you're, on your first day, bring your receipts in. We'll reimburse you for that. Okay. So I drive I drive from Memphis, Tennessee to Greenville, Tennessee. Mind you, this is a seven and a half hour ride. I drive out there. The room is ready. I go in there, room, nice, decent room. I'm in a room by myself. Okay. Everything's good. Okay. You know, everything's good. <laughs> so our first day of orientation, I'm in there. Everything's good. We signing papers. We doing the, uh, all this information stuff on the computer, right, training right. on the all, computer. All, all the rhetoric, all, yeah. all the bullshit, Every, the, the yeah, P-test or, so, you know, the P-test the the test. Yeah, the drug the, test. I passed the drug test. test. Right, I passed right. I passed the driving test. I passed okay. everything. Okay. So in the so, mix, you know, our, down, our downtime, we're in class. The, you know, the, the, the teachers ask any questions. Right. So first question stood out there. I was like, look, man, I got a felony. I mentioned it. And, he, and he's like, well, I'm not sure. They, they don't run before. They don't run. Uh, we, we do a thorough check. So I'm not sure about that. I can't make you any promises about that. Okay. So me and another guy like, hold up, y'all already made us some promises. Right, because y'all already got us out there. You got us out there. I got us out there.